joke to the hooker. I said, hey, do you want some peanut brittle? And she goes, no, but I'll take some of that dick. <laughs> <laughs>
Ugh. What do you mean, why? You see them clean their butthole and then clean your mouth with that same butthole cleaner. <laughs> you yeah, can't... they get a dingleberry and then they come and no, lick your lips. No, they don't. Yeah. I've never yeah, they do. Hold on. That bowl was cleaned. You don't, I mean, if you use silverware, when you go to somebody, okay, right, let's say you go to a restaurant and they serve out of a bowl. You don't know what else has been in that bowl. You You're eating know. out of it. You don't know. It's also, no. exactly. diseased if you people don't know. have been eating out of that same, off those same forks. Yeah. I don't think dogs are puking in restaurant bowls either. They're not, different. but you don't know that people humans are aren't some little baby, is not You don't <laughs> know. But at least it's they'll like, go through the dishwasher most of the time. Scary like, used you, to go to yeah. hookers. He doesn't know where they were been before. What are you talking about? I don't go to hookers. <laughs> 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 scary. When did you go to hookers? <laughs> Never. Is that Probably a new thing? No, is that a new place? Brody, for some reason, thinks that like, it's, like, it's, it's funny to like joke about that shit. <laughs> well, Why you so told me not to tell anybody, Scary, so I did. Oh, my gosh, Brody. Hold back. Never in my entire life. And uh, Scary's mom's going to call him today. Yeah, right? <laughs> yes. Hold on, Scary. And, oh, Scary, and all, all joking aside, you've never you've never had anything to do with a hooker your entire life. No. No, um, no I've, been, I've been to bachelor parties. <laughs> no, I've been, I've been to bachelor parties where there's been strippers. <laughs> Scotty but, And, you know, with lap no. dances and things like that. But you've like never that, called, but you've never called those somebody. Dancers. Okay. Yeah, those are dancers. dancers. Yeah, dancers. Yeah. Yeah. They're just trying to go to no. college. Wait a minute, Froggy, not, you have? Are you trying right. to tell us something? Well, no, we're, so I, I'll tell you a story. So I was in I was in Los Angeles one time with some Pick friends, and one of the guys says, "Ah, hey, hey, man, I'm gonna call some some hookers over." So he, I thought he was kidding. We're sitting there talking. The, there's a knock on the door, and these two girls are standing at the door. And I said, "I'm leaving." I walked out and left because I didn't know if it was illegal. I didn't know who was going to go to jail. I did not want to be there if shit hit the fan. I'm like, I am not here. I'm gone. I split instantly. So I don't know what happened. Scotty B, don't you have any stories? I don't really have any hooker experience. I mean, when I was a teenager, um, <laughs> every story, every story starts like this. When I was a, when I was a teenager, a, another an older work acquaintance of mine, uh, we were staying in a hotel and we called hookers, but they never showed up. But that's the <laughs> only experience I have. Oh, well, that's I bad have a hooker business. story. Yeah, he tried. Oh, Brody's tried. got one. Brody <laughs> has a hooker story. story. I have a hooker story. Uh, it, it, you know me better. You know how it's going to end. Anyway, so for <laughs> my twenty-first, twenty, yeah, for my twenty-first birthday, two Free of my dessert. friends took me out uh, for dinner, <laughs> and then we were driving in the city. We ended up, um, I don't remember where, a bad part of town. Anyway. Uh, so this, this girl's walking on the street. It was by a white castle, as a matter of fact. And my friends roll down the window and they say, hey, what are you doing? She says, oh, I'm, I'm looking to earn some money. They, so they said, what kind of money? She explained what kind of money. And they, they had her get in the car. And they said, well, David, it's your birthday. You know, we're treating. And I said, not a chance in hell. So <laughs> I drove the car and they took turns in the back. No! So that's my experience uh, on my, they on my shared, birthday. They shared her? She did her thing on each one of them at different oh, times. My God. Oh, my God. And I just day. stared straight oh, ahead on the road. Oh. Was it your no. car? That's it was birthday. not my car. No, I keep oh. my seats clean. Hey, can I ask yeah. you guys a question? Why yes. This conversation is making me uneasy, and I can't <laughs> figure out why. It's just I'm not really happy with this conversation. Don't you don't want to talk about hookers, Elvis? <laughs> no, I don't. And they're, es the they're escorts. They're escorts. <laughs> well, okay, hold on. Has story? Nate ever been an escort? Me? No. I mean, I give it for free. But um, <laughs> nice. When I was People in are Vegas, so lucky. I think, I think I've actually <laughs> told this sh this story before. So I was in Vegas with some friends, and we were out all night. And at the you know the hotel, the the bar, the the mini bar, I grabbed this bag of peanut brittle. So I'm eating this peanut brittle, half drunk. We're walking from <laughs> one hotel to the next, and we're walking into this casino, and it's like 4:30 in the morning, five in the morning, and there's obviously a hooker standing there. You know, she's just leaned up against the, the pillar and just, you know, obviously trying to sell her wares. And I'm just eating my peanut brittle. And I just joked to the hooker. I said, hey, do you want some peanut brittle? And she goes, no, but I'll take some of that dick. <laughs> <laughs> Did you serve it up? No. Oh, okay. Right. I got another hooker story. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, I was in a car with six, five guys, the so six of us on the west side of Manhattan, on the west side highway. Uh, where all the hookers used to hang out. So we stopped at a red light, and this, uh, I'm assuming she was a professional lady, came over to the car, and my friend says, hey, how much? And, and I guess she was maybe drunk. She says, 25 each, I'll take no less than 10. So what? She, what? she bargained herself down. I was tempted at that point. I love a good bargain. You do. And then she said, for $40, I'll suck your and yours and yours and yours. 
and then the light changed and we drove the hell out of there. But 25, I'll take no less than 10, is the greatest bargaining ploy ever. You I know. like that there were six of you in a car rolling around that one night. Like that's yeah, it was one of the, it was an older car, big. You know, you could put three in the front. We were looking for I don't know. Uh, I don't she know. probably could have put three in the front as well. Oh. Scotty oh, has a story. I knew it would yeah. come out eventually. Yeah. I know. Uh, well, on, I, she was inflatable. I don't think it was a hooker. When I was in L.A. by myself one he time. He doesn't think <laughs> so. No, this is, okay, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the story that he, I thought he would tell, but I didn't want to bring. I was it in L.A. by myself one time. And I called for a massage in the back of one of those, you know, books that they oh. have in the street. Shut up, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> they never just massages, Scotty. I, I, that's really, yeah. that's honestly all I wanted. I wanted like a right. naked massage. I thought that'd be fun, you know. <laughs> and so this girl knocks on the hotel door and there's a big dude standing behind her. And I give them the money that they requested. <laughs> and she came in and she gets on the bed with me. And, uh, you know, she starts, like, you know, doing her little movements. And she said, just so you know, the more you tip, the more I'll do. And I was like, what? I already I paid. I don't have any more money. I, I, I don't. I don't. She's like, what? So she got off and she said to me, well, you know, my friend, uh, she's working at the club down the street. I'll send her over later. I got to go. And she no. left and that was it. And I just stayed up all night waiting for the friend. So you lost like, the money? Yeah, I got ripped off. How much was it? I really don't want to say. How, How much? Come on, tell I How mean, much it was, was it was in the it was close to two hundred dollars. What? Two hundred to get you nothing? Had to know. Damn! You had to know, Dude, Scotty. I could have gotten you some action for ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Don't I will say, I once yeah. I, I, when I was in college, I was down in AC and I was at the bar at the Borgata, and I thought maybe hold on as I hit a button. I said. <laughs> This this woman rolled up to me and she was being really friendly and I'm like oh my god this is this is awesome this is cool you know, <laughs> you know and whatever whatever she must was. know who you are well she got to know me I bought her a drink and then she goes oh here's my business card she walks away and I'm like oh here's the nice and then I flip it and she's completely naked on the back of her business card <laughs> I'm like I just got had by a hooker. <laughs> but she spent 10 15 minutes trying to work me and I'm, and I'm thinking like it was. Uh, who knew what the was going on? I have no freaking clue. I have a question. Why are they called hookers? Do you know where the term came from? Like, what's it supposed to mean? They, they hook you. Scary into a no, free drink. Yeah. She did. No, no. She had professional escort, I believe, written on the back of her card. Right. She didn't have the word hooker. Please just record the conversation <laughs> with your mom today, Scary. That's all I ask. When, when she, she goes, so about these hookers. So I, I want to hear the whole thing, how this goes down later. <laughs> I, I'll tell you now why I'm being very quiet during this conversation. Because I used to be a male prostitute. No, you were not. <laughs> How much did you charge? No not less than ten. Not okay. enough. Is that going to be in the second book? <laughs> Kidding. Never was. Were you? <laughs> no. What? Really scary. Scary. Was, it, was, it like the, was it like the Was uh, it like the the Julia Roberts movie? No. 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 Does that pretty happen woman? in real life? Pretty no. woman? I don't think you so. Thought Elvis was pretty woman. <laughs> Okay, so there was one time where... <laughs> <laughs> yes! yes! Is this going to be in the second book? I was a senior in high school, and $50 was exchanged. But I'm not going to say... <laughs> oh, see, you, you know got what? 50 no. bucks at no, least. What about the time you won the trophy? Did you get money then, or just that was a trophy? Did you do it five <laughs> times for $10? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no bargain. The trophy no, was no, the payment. It wasn't clear that that's what the money was for. The money was there, and it so happens other thing happened. So, oh. Right. Oh. So you, you, can't, you can't connect the two. Uh, <laughs> was this while you were working? at Baskin Robbins. <laughs> yeah, 31 uh, yeah, flavors. As a matter of fact, it was. 31 <laughs> flavors, yeah. Not just one. I was one of the flavors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Okay. How much time do we have left? This has got to go. Uh, we have 30 <laughs> seconds left. Oh, crap. 30 seconds. That's like 10 <laughs> bucks. So. Well, it's been a lot of fun talking about uh, whatever you guys want to talk Hookers. about. <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 See you later, guys.